Hey guys, John with the F&E Project. So I just got done filming a video on um, how to make a Altoid uh, alcohol stove. And since I was already sitting here at my desk, and as you can see it's a little bit messy, um, as I was sitting here, I decided to do an EDC uh, level 1 first aid kit review. And it's not going to be too long, I mean it's not that extensive, it's just, you know, the basic first aid stuff that you know a regular person would carry on them on a daily basis so I'm gonna go ahead and get started real quick just to make it uh, easier for you guys so you guys don't waste too much time alright so here is basically this is the container I've been using for my level one first aid kit um, EDC I've tried a few different ways of carrying it and this has been the best so far uh, I don't know why maybe because of how it, how slim it is in the, in the cargo pocket uh, how many things you can hold, or you know, just because it's Max Edition, but uh, I'm just playing. That's not the that's not the legitimate reason. But um, this has been the best way of carrying all my first aid equipment so far. I mean, if I needed to, I could slide it in my back pocket as a wallet, because that's what this is meant for is a wallet. Um, but I did switch over. I did switch wallets over. I can actually grab it for you real quick. Um, here's my wallet now. You know, a regular wallet. I switched to a civilian wallet, and then I'm using this one as a first aid kit. So, a few features on the Spartan wallet before I review it. Um, you know, it's got a mesh back. You can put whatever. You know, you can put you know business cards and whatnot. Uh, I used to put an American flag back there, and also I used to put my blood type. Um, and then it's got it's double stitched throughout the whole thing. You know, the Mexican logo. All right, now I'm gonna go over the stuff on the inside. It is held. By a uh, by Velcro hook and loop uh, field, and uh, it is a, a sort of a trifold. It's more of a, a 2.5 fold because huh? it's got the two full and then it's got a half flap here. All right, so here is my setup of first aid equipment on a daily basis. This does ride in my cargo pocket, left cargo pocket every time, and if it if I'm wearing jeans in my left back pocket every time does not change, does not leave my left side because I can get to it quick. And plus my right side is full of uh, other gear. Um, but I do like to keep it slim when I'm out and about. You know, I, all I carry is usually my knife and um, here conveniently is my Victorinox uh, uh, Classic uh, and a standard pen, my wallet obviously, level one, and a few other goodies that I'll go over in my EDC pocket dump video. So, um, Anyway, getting on to the nitty gritty, uh, basically in this, uh, I carry everything on the outside. Nothing is in any of the uh, hidden compartments on the wallet. You know, in the front here, in the front here, uh, oops, <laughs> front mesh pocket, it's got band-aids, you know, quick reach. I have to use these band-aids all the time. Uh, one, obviously I, cu I cut myself, excuse that, my phone's uh, beeping cut myself and also at school all the time everyone's like anybody have a band-aid obviously now they know it's come to me everybody comes to me for band-aids now especially when I'm in class they're always like uh, I'm glad I'm in class with you uh, John so um, but yeah I've got band-aids up there in the front quick reach on the other side um, got some alcohol wipes right behind that if I can get these back in there right behind that is some butterfly closures and a wound seal powder. You guys have seen that in my other uh, first aid videos, medical kit videos. That uh, wound seal powder have not had to use it yet, thank thankfully, but uh, it's there if I need it. Uh, and if I haven't mentioned, I always carry some sort of blood stopping in anything that I'm carrying. And if I have to, just throw a sponge in my pocket and I, I'll do it. But uh, real quick, uh, in my wallet right here is a 4x4 gauze pad and then a wound seal and then obviously we've got some band-aids here quick reach and then I've got a uh, non-stick pad back there just in case anyway moving on these scissors are, are, are part of my EDC I use them not just for medical reasons but for uh, you know scissors uh, these are great little scissors they cut very very well and uh, they're actually pretty sturdy Moving back, right behind the scissors, I've got, um, let me pull them out real quick. Got some uh, blister bandages, 
for blisters and whatnot because I, I I am a raider on my ROTC um, in my ROTC class I am a uh, raider so uh, these blisters come in handy with the boots and I've got three large bandages which I could cut um, I could cut into smaller bandages uh, hence the uh, scissors and I don't know if I mentioned this before but I am pretty much the uh, the raider team medic also uh, with Michael, uh, Michael and I are, are the Raider team medics because we both do, we both have training and we know what we're doing. Um, moving on to the other side over here where the band-aids were, underneath the Velcro uh, strip here, we've got a, uh, we've got two um, Telfa bandages, non-stick, and then right behind that is a four by four. Mirazorb gauze sponge. As I said, I do always have some way of blood stopping, whether it's for minor bleeding or for serious bleeding. And my medical kit is not far away uh, at all times. It's within um, within range. I could either run to it, walk to it, or grab it if it's right next to me. So uh, it's never too far. Um, all right, guys. So that was basically my level one medical kit. Uh, basically ABC level one uh, medical kit hope you guys enjoyed today's video um, please comment rate subscribe and if you have any questions or comments please email us me Michael or I at SNE project LLC at gmail.com thanks for watching remember stay safe take care see you guys in the next video